From Israel, Gaza Strip to Elliot, let me take you to an ancient city of Jerash, Amman and Petra and the vast red desert of Wadi Ram. This is Jordan. Ahalan Wassalan, welcome to Jordan. Jordan, also known as Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, an Arab nation on the east bank of the Jordan River, defined by ancient monuments and nature reserves. It's home to the famed archaeological site of Petra, the Nabataean capital dating to around 300 BC. The Nabataeans are Arabian nomads from the Negev Desert who accumulated their wealth first as traders from Kabatan in modern-day Yemen through neighboring Saba, a powerful trade hub, and on toward Gaza on the Mediterranean Sea. city in Jordan, north of the capital of Amman, inhabited since the Bronze Age. It is known for the ruins of the walled Greco-Roman settlement of Gerasa, just outside the modern city. Bedouin camp. The Bedouins are nomadic people living in the desert from the Arabian Peninsula to North Africa for thousands of years. In many respects, they have preserved their lifestyle, and staying with them is an insight into the way the Nabataeans who built Petra who have lived their lives. Wadi Ram, known also as the Valley of the Moon, inscribed as a mixed natural and cultural site, situated in southern Jordan, near the border with Saudi Arabia. It features a varied desert landscape consisting of a range of narrow gorge, natural arches, towering cliffs, ramps, massive landslides and caverns was named by UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2011. 
Wadi Ram has been used as a background setting in a number of science fictions set on Mars. of the world. Petra is famous archaeological site in Jordan's southwestern desert, dating to around 300 BC. It was the capital of the Nabataean kingdom. A narrow canyon called al Sik contains tomb and temples carved into pink sandstone cliffs, earning its nickname as the Rose City as old as time or some people called it as the lost city
Jordan is the most unexpectedly amazing place on earth. It isn't overrun with tourists and the people are kind and the food is amazing. No matter where you go, you'll find little pops of color and stunning street art. It is also an elaborate mosaic of biblical history that dates back to the times of Genesis. It's unlike any place I've been, and despite being a bit of a trek to get from Australia, it should be high on everyone's to visit list.